I think the oven door is still having problems if you- I am working on it, Sharon! Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 funniest moments from the South Park joining the Panderverse special. <sighs> That's actually the best explanation I've heard as to why Disney movies all suck now. Number 10, Cartman's Dream. Are you still here? You need to get going. In the special's very first scene, viewers are treated to a typical South Park opening, only things are a little different. In the usual opening featuring all four boys at the bus stop, these new characters act the same as the ones we know, only they look and sound completely different. Dude, Kenny, enough about Tammy's knockers. You sound like a white male trying to reestablish the patriarchy. To hear these new characters say typical lines we're so used to hearing from the boys we know, made us chuckle, and this eventually turns into laughter when Cartman realizes it's all just a dream. The request he later makes to his mom not only makes us laugh, but lets us know what this episode will be poking fun at. Will you check under the bed and make sure there's no Disney executives under there? Number 9. Randy teaches his kids how to fix things. Randy puts his children on blast for being unable to do just about anything, so he decides to teach them how to fix their oven's broken door. You got your phones and your AI and you kids haven't learned to be able to actually do anything. So we're going to take this morning to learn how to fix something. How, might you ask? By calling a handyman, of course. Hello, it's Randy Marsh. My oven door is not working. Please come fix it. Now we rest until the handyman comes. The Marsh patriarch quite literally gives them a step-by-step -step on how to call someone to fix something for them. The satire here is evident, and Randy looks even more foolish when he can't get the handyman to fix the oven door, setting up a storyline that's just about as zany and over-the-top as it can get. You're just gonna leave? I'll pay a different handyman. Yeah, go for it, buddy. I got so much money, I don't care. What the hell is going on? Number 8. Cartman Kathleen's Universe While watching the South Park joining the Panderverse special, some viewers may have wondered precisely which universe the version of Kathleen Kennedy, who looks like Cartman, came from. Well, we found out. <laughs> in the very last scene, Kathleen, who's just woken up from a dream, appears before us in a bizarre, space-like world. While seeing his mom Leanne as a strange alien-like creature could give some of the creeps, many can agree how hilarious it was to see Kyle as literal pieces of cereal in a bowl. Have some of your favorite cereal to calm you down. This Cartman, of course, wastes no time and eats the cereal with pure delight. If one thing's for certain in South Park, it's that regardless of which universe we're in, Cartman's hate for Kyle is ever-present and knows no bounds. Oh, you so yummy, Kyle! Uh Oh, it's so good to be home. Number 7. The Meeting with PC Principal Unable to convince Kyle and the others to help him, the other universe's Cartman calls on PC Principal for help. One of our students here says you've been treating them unfairly. Treating who unfairly? We didn't do anything. We're just minding our own business and she keeps saying she's Eric Cartman. The latter scolds them for not being accepting of Cartman. Well, I don't see a problem with it at all. And if you boys don't think Eric can be a black woman, then maybe the problem is you. What? The double entendre here is South Park comedy at its finest. Naturally, the meeting doesn't go anywhere, and the boys are forced to assist this Cartman. Well, you know what I think about that cow? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> That's what I think about that cow. No matter the universe, it seems that Cartman knows how to get the last laugh over Kyle in hilarious fashion. How's that fart feeling on your face right now? Shut up! Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Number 6. News report on how people don't know how to do anything anymore. This is South Park Breaking News. With handyman workers now catering solely to those who can afford their services, townsfolk now can't fix anything since they don't know how to do this themselves or are too lazy to do it themselves. One such example they use to illustrate this is when a news reporter quite literally reports on this issue by reporting on himself. Now, the handyman was supposed to come days ago to fix it, but he claims to have better offers from other white-collar workers like me whose practical know-how has atrophied. Standing in his bathroom, he explains to the anchor about being unable to install a new tile and how it's causing his bathroom to fall apart. Leave it to South Park creators to come up with such a hilarious scene where the news reporter is the subject of his own news report. It appears we've all screwed ourselves by relying on technology and AI. Number 5. Looking for a handyman Could you come fix my door and I'll give you some geology? 
Taking up Siri's advice, Randy heads to Home Depot hoping to find someone who can fix his oven at a price he can afford. Instead, he finds others also looking for a handyman. Since they're also unable to afford their services, they decide to offer up their services from their line of profession as well. I gotta get the radiant heat installed in my house and I'm offering free legal advice in exchange. Y you need a reporter? I'll report the news to you if you fix my shower tile. Uh -huh, how about a computer program where I can do coding? Insurance broker? Insurance broker? However, it is to no avail since all the men are limited to one skill that the handyman has no need for. None of you know how to work a power saw. Jesus Christ. Because they spend all their time in college learning the one skill they use in their line of work, they take up their frustrations the only way they know how to. Number 4. The Men Get Back at College Frustrated and believing they got nothing from their college degree since they're so dependent on the handyman, the men of South Park head to a local college to give it their peace of mind. Hey, hey college, you know what you are? You're a scam. College is a scam. Yeah! After Randy throws some insults at the college, they all decide to hit it with a boulder using a catapult. However, it arrives in a package, which means they need to put it together. But since they don't know how to do that or have the patience to figure it out, what do they do? Call a handyman, of course. Aww! Aww! You said you couldn't work today! You're supposed to fix my oven door! Well, I got a lot of jobs here, buddy. This one paid the most today. We all pulled together and offered him $20,000. When it's finally put together and the boulder is launched, the men's joy is short-lived. Mere moments later, another handyman is called in to fix the window that has been destroyed as a result of the men's antics. Only in South Park. He's just gonna fix the glass! Number 3. Handymen Square Off the handyman workers in South Park have profited so much off of people's laziness that they have now become rich beyond anyone's wildest dreams. I just bought Instagram. What? Now billionaires, it seems as though they can do and purchase whatever they want. You wanna fight me, MMA? Yeah, I'll fight you, MMA. Let's do it. What the hell are they doing now? In addition to buying notable companies, another scene indicates that their wealth has allowed them to explore space travel. Seeing such individuals who are depicted in a, shall we say, less than flattering manner, explore and become involved in such matters is hilariously ironic and is sure to bring out the laughs. I told you I'd beat you, you son bitch! You ain't beating me, turn up them thrusters! Number 2. The KFC Sign when the original Cartman is trapped in the other universe, he's not shy to express his dismay and disappointment at just about everything. <laughs> this is most evident when he's being chased by Kathleen Kennedy. Throughout the chase, he expresses his horror when seeing what the people in this universe are like. However, nothing shocks Cartman more when he sees the sign of what perhaps might be his favorite restaurant, next to Casa Bonita, of course. No! Oh my god, please! No! Although we see no harm in Colonel Sanders being a woman, we can't help but laugh at Cartman's horror and the way the logo was edited. No! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Randy Goes Through a Space-Time Portal to set everything right, Randy must go through the Panderverse portal. Good luck, Mr. Marsh! Whoa! Whoa! Upon entering, he goes flying down in what looks to be time and space. As this is happening, we're treated to Randy switching into a wide array of outfits. It only gets zanier when he appears to be wearing t-shirts of notable NFL teams. Oh! Oh! Now it's the Dolphins! Ah! The Chiefs! Oh, it's the Chiefs! He later appears before Eric as an angel and gets way into character. Oh. We love how Randy embraces it all, and that he was able to find a solution to the aforementioned handyman issue. Way to go, Randy. Way to go. We're not going to have a problem with billionaires anymore. Check it out! Yeah! Woo! What did you think of the Panderverse? Be sure to let us know in the comments. I'm wearing a Baltimore Ravens shirt now! I hate the Ravens! Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.